So welcome back. So in our Selenium 4 series features and enhancements, today we are going to see a method that Selenium 4 introduced as an alternate to an existing methods and we'll see what is the benefit of using that method and how it is affecting to our existing scripts. Okay, so we will be seeing a new method uh, that Selenium 4 introduced is get rect method. Now, as you can see here, this get rect method normally introduced to uh, as an alternate to both of the methods as you can see get size and get position okay so uh, still the get size and get position is uh, present at this moment with selenium 4 as well but uh, we will be seeing what exactly the get rect is there and what is the benefit of using this one over the existing two methods okay so this get rect method basically will return an object it's a rectangle class object it will uh, return we will be seeing that implementation but this is the uh, theory behind this and uh, so the object that this get rect method normally returns by using that object we can get the x and y coordinate of that particular element okay and then the same thing by using the same object we can get the height and width of that particular element as well okay so this object basically exposes four different methods like get x get y get height get width and the same way it even returns um, i mean it exposes four different properties as well like the x y height and width so we will be seeing both of these ways like how we can get uh, how we can achieve actually the position and the size of that particular browser element on the browser screen okay so let's get into the implementation so let me switch over to intellij okay so okay uh, one information is that whatever uh, we are discussing here i mean the selenium 4 features all of this code base it is already pushed to the github repo i will be putting the link into the description so that you can refer later okay so let me add to a new class to this particular package and i will be naming it as get rect some name i'm giving and let me add to get and here uh, so we have seen in our previous code base this particular before method right so let me just add that here okay so here what i will be doing is that okay let's consider it as chrome driver no issues and this is applicable for both for any type of browsers this is not a restriction to any particular browser okay and we will be seeing this demo uh, website that is the qabbox.github.io and then there is a web table so we will and you can take any of the demo website just you need to have one of the browser element that has to be identified before running this particular method okay so what i will be doing i will use a test method and i will say public void and here i will say that test underscore get rect some name and then i will be implementing that so let's first move to this particular demo site to identify that element okay so now here what we will be going to do so if i inspect on this one so this is a field set as you can see this entire uh, what you call area is of having a field set with a ig id that is reg form so i will be using that to identify so here what i will do web element some element name and i will say driver dot find element by dot id and i will be using that id so just let's keep as it is for now and you uh, okay you can even wait till this uh, element appears or else you can give some hard weight but in reality you have to wait for a particular element so that you will be confirmed with that the page is loaded completely okay so now here what i will be doing if i put el that element which i identified and then dot you can see it is exposing lot of different methods so the first method as you can see is get rect but i will be showing 
what is the existing method that is common to your uh, what do you call the selenium 3 and 4 so you can see here is that two methods one is get location and get size so if i do this one so this get location basically returns one of the object which we can capture in terms of a dimension so i can give dimension get location so this is the dim object uh, let's see what is the problem oh sorry it should be point actually so point p okay so it is returning a point object dimension is for get size okay so because dimension size and uh, it's a bit similar right yeah so point p and then here if i do like this and then let me print this one so if you see i was talking about it is exposing the properties which is returning an int or else we can use the method as well so let me use both of this so p dot x sorry p dot x so this will be giving me the x coordinate of your browser element that is nothing but this range form right this particular area uh, what is the x coordinate and y coordinate of this so normally what happens like this area is uh, like pretty much it is spreaded out right but the x and y coordinate normally gives the value of this particular point actually so this will help you when you are really implementing into your framework because um, some people might think if I am getting a browser elements uh, x y coordinate it might be the middle of this or the center of that element basically this is the left top corner of that element like let's say if I want to identify the x and y coordinate of this home button then this home button's x y coordinate is this one this left top corner okay so here this will return me p dot x or I can say like uh, I can just say like this and then p dot get x even I can use this one as well okay oops sorry it should be plus here and this should be a blank and here oops okay so this will give me the x coordinate I can write here like this x coordinate something I'm giving just to make you guys understand and then append all these things now the same thing what i can do i can copy paste real quick and here i will say that y coordinate and then i will be printing y and then here this should be y okay get x and y coordinate the same thing what i will do here i will get the size as well so dimension and here d equal to el dot get size here you can see it is exposing the get size method the same thing if i do uh, let me do one thing let me copy paste this both so that i can get the width and the height so here i will say width and this should be my height okay oops so here if i put dim as a object this should be d right okay d and then if i put a dot you can see it is exposing the height and width so let me choose as height the same thing i will get here get width so this should be d and then if i control space then you can see it is exposing the get width method the same thing here d dot height okay so as you can see d dot height the same thing if i put d dot and then get height is again another method as well it is exposing okay now let me quickly run this particular uh, methods for that what i will do i will put some thread dot slip so that we can see the output and then i will quit the driver okay so that the driver instance will be nullified okay so now let's run this particular test okay there is nothing much it is doing on the browser actions because it will just measure that uh, size and coordinates and then it will be closing so here you can see the x coordinate is 334 uh, both are same because it is exposing the property and the method as well the same thing here and this is the width and height of that particular area that element actually okay so that's how we can determine so as you can see here i'm using four different uh, what do you call two different methods 
methods one is get location and get size and two different classes i am calling to achieve this one but with respect to the selenium 4 actually they are exposing a single method so that is nothing but rectangle so if i put this one as rectangle and this will be only available in your uh, what you call selenium 4 only so here equal to and i can just call this particular method that's it now by using this rect object i can achieve all of these options so here what i will be doing uh, let me just copy this one the existing methods and then here i will say rect that's it and instead of this one rect and then rect okay so as you can see no errors coming because the same method same properties are exposing even with the rect method as well and you can see the class is rectangle the same thing as i told all of these things i can achieve with the same one only with the same rect object so as you can see it's not throwing any of the errors and here rect and rect okay and here let me do only one thing here i will say get rect method output just to compare actually the first one and the second one okay now so as you can see it's straightforward there is a rectangle method and then rect is an object by using that you can achieve all these things so that you need not to call object of this both classes actually so now as i was talking at the beginning we will even see what it impacts to our existing scripts right so basically i can say this is not impacting your framework but still if you want to use because uh, not sure if the selenium uh, upcoming say, uh, releases they might be like uh, deprecating this dimension and point because it is normally uh, what you call duplicating the same functionality right maybe this is just an experimental they've added with selenium 4 so i would expect that uh, you can take out your framework code base into a different repo and then try by using this rectangle object if you have any of the test that is dealing with this x y coordinates or width and height where you are measuring the size and comparing so in that scenario you can just uh, take out the code repo and then give a try with this new methods i mean new class and the methods and if it works then you can just uh, revert your i mean you can change or update your existing script and then continue with that um, like in the beginning of the selenium 4 when we started i told whenever you are experimenting any new uh, like what you call any new changes to the selenium library or even test ng library or extend report i would suggest to have a copy of that particular code repo do not go directly and uh, update there and one of the option like if you are using any version control system like a git or something you can just uh, create a new branch you can just say that uh, experiment underscore selenium 4 and then you can update your uh, everything whatever the changes you want to do do any experiment and then you can again merge with your development or master whichever branch you are uh, making it final okay so let's see let's give it a try by running this particular code so this will be giving me two times output okay now let's see the output so as you can see the same output i will be expecting these are the the earlier existing methods and these are the get rect method from the get me rect method we are getting as you can see the outputs are similar just the way we are handling the size width and coordinates is a bit different okay so give it a try and uh, that's pretty much it from my side for today's session we will be seeing some more selenium 4 features so that is coming soon so stay tuned and do subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't thank you for watching